Your Saturday night, Golly G, Monday morning, what does it mean? Not if the wolf Yeah, I'm out of here, yeah, I'm gone. All around me, an open road. Not if the wolf not if the wolf yeah. You'll be here on the 25th floor with my feet in the clouds. I can't know what you mean, know what I mean? Not of the Wolverine, not of the Wolverine. Not of the Wolverine was a bit of graffiti in South Melbourne, and it, um, it, it's like a, a, movies I like, Night of the Hunter, Night of the Iguana, Night of the Living Dead, and Public Enemy had a song called Night of the Living Baseheads, and it's like the hunchback monster of, uh, of um, of an instant when a, a person sees the world as it really is and it's a moment of sheer darkness and terror and they just see bleakness all around them. Black tape over the window, one strong suitcase Going to bed in the morning, breakfast in the afternoon oh. Love you, love you, next time I'm passing through It says in the song, I can't know what you mean, know what I mean, which is like a little joke for me that I'm a singer and I can't listen to other people. I say, I can't know what you mean, but I have to ask them to know what I mean. So it says, I can't know what you mean, know what I mean. And it's, it makes me laugh, that kind of thing. Dave Green and the Coral Snacks have always gone down their own kind of way, you know, and uh, and have paid the price, you know. We, we don't, we aren't like household names or anything, but uh, so we don't get the, uh, we haven't had a budget to make records to. Uh, to compete with other people who spend lots of money making records and videos. So, You're Just Too Hip Baby is only the second video we've ever made. I can't wait for you anymore, baby. Oh. Our influences to I can't a great degree are economic people who come in from outside rock and roll like uh, Iggy Pop and Jerry Lee Lewis and uh, Elvis Presley who, who's, uh, you know, there's no precedent for somebody like him. I was in The Moodist for uh, um, about six years but when I started Dave Granny and the Coral Snacks and uh, I centred it on myself as a songwriter and uh, with the band that was going to play like Booker T and the MGs, that's when I, I really um, felt right. I was a born stranger I'd run along with the sea Go home, write and dream of other days When I was a teenager, I was always a person on the, the edge of the scene You know, drifting on the edges of groups of people I was a part of the generation, I guess, that we were pretty fired up by punk rock I held a cool breeze I held a cool I held a cool breeze, I held a cool breeze, I held a cool breeze. I was your son, 
Rock and roll is one of the last places where it's just open for hustlers. It's a, rock and roll is like open for anybody to come in if they've got the conviction. You know, it's it's the world. Rock and roll doesn't belong to you too. It doesn't belong to In Excess or Bon Jovi. It's there for anybody to take at any time they want. Shit, you could really wear a red, white town. The mysterious woman from out of town. A swaggering pirate, a roller. Most of the things I like about rock business, you know, is it, it's full of uh, grand mistakes. You know. My favourite period of music is like when Elvis made his comeback in 1968 and went back to Memphis. Elvis's buckskin period, you know. All those great records made at Stax, which is just the greatest craftsman ever in, in rock. Great grandiose kind of country sounds in, in, and soul. Elvis doing like Kentucky Rain and in the ghetto. That's the peak of music for me. You run out of petrol in a canola cul-de-sac. In the evening, you'll get your jacket As the sun goes away And the street lights flicker on, you'll be walking You won't hear any music I have this thing for uh, Melbourne poets of the 70s, you know, who I find to be quite heroic, you know, from the La Mama period. And they took it upon themselves to barnstorm academia and just be this crazy hopped up red wine drinking, you know, probably conceited people. And they're like voices that called out from uh, 20 or 30 years ago and I feel like I can hear them now. It's easy to be eccentric in rock and roll because it, it's pretty conservative. So once somebody says a word like that, it, it gathers its own momentum. And they say, Dave Granny, he's an eccentric man. And then somebody, will, somebody in Brisbane will say to me, people say you're an eccentric, and they don't even know it. You know, it's something that gathers its own energy. Um, it doesn't worry me really. You know. I'm a pretty straight guy. I got myself a beautiful nightmare. Comes and rides me all night long. Through my window and gets on the top. I would really love to have a hit record that a song or just a catchphrase that passed into uh, the, the language of, of people, you know? So people didn't have to know Dave Graney from a hole in the ground, you know? Or I could stand next to a palm tree and people wouldn't know which one was Dave Graney.